A couple of weeks back, I brought you guys a video talking about this blog post from Google that says, AI editing tools are coming to all Google Photos users. Magic Editor, Photo on Blur, Magic Racer, and more enhanced editing features are coming to all Google Photos users, no subscription required. And of course, there's a little bit more complexity than that, but those features were to be enrolling out beginning May the 15th. Of course, right now it is May the 23rd, and I've been waiting for Magic Editor to appear on my Pixel Fold. I continue to be waiting, but strangely enough, it has arrived on my OnePlus Open. So we're going to look at Magic Editor on the OnePlus Open and see exactly how well it is working. Before I do that, though, I want to make a couple of things very clear. These features, Magic Eraser, Photo on Blur, and Portrait Light, are now available or they're rolling out to all Google Photos users, no subscription required. Magic Editor is doing the same thing, but if you aren't a Pixel user or if you are not a member of a premium Google One plan, two terabyte and above, you're only going to get 10 editor saves per month. So keep that in mind. There was no subscription required, but if you want to have more than 10 edits, you better be using it on a Pixel, or you better have one of those premium Google One plans. Now, luckily for myself, I already have the two terabyte plan because I need the extra cloud storage. So this is just an additional feature added on. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at Magic Editor on the OnePlus Open. This might look like kind of a strange image, but I think it'll be a decent test for this. So let's click on our edit button. It's gonna download that image and you can see the new button here for Magic Editor. But what I wanna do first is let's come over here to Magic Eraser and I'm gonna show you what the difference between Editor and Eraser is. So there's a crow on this roof and I can circle this crow. Let's try that again. I can circle this crow and it should grab it and it should attempt to erase it. And you can see here, it did an okay job. It's a little bit smeary there, but honestly, that did better than I thought it was going to do. That's passable. I think you would maybe be, oops, you'd maybe be suspicious that something was going on there. That's what this is going to be able to do. You can also camouflage, which is not going to be a great example here because it's already kind of that color. It kind of lowered the saturation on. And the idea there is that instead of actually removing the crow from the photo, if it's something that's brightly colored, you can make it kind of more dim and it'll blend into the background. With Magic Editor, you can go many, many steps further. First off, I should be able to just tap this thing and have it automatically select it. Second, I can either erase it, or in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in because I think that we missed its feet. Let's see if I can add those feet in. That's good enough. I'm going to long press it. I'm going to move it up higher so that it's out of the way, and I'm going to make it, actually, let's do this. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to make it huge. It's going to look terrible, but the reason I'm doing this is one to show you that you can do that. And then two, because I'm going to leave this area open behind it. And what's going to happen is it's going to send this off to a data center and it's going to use generative AI to fill in the gap that I just left behind by moving that crow. And there you go. That, <laughs> that is your result. And if you look here, if I long press this, you can see the back and forth. Let's zoom in and let's look at the area that it took the crow out of and look at what it did. You can tell me for yourself in the comments, but I think it's pretty obvious that it did a much better job of filling that in than the Magic Eraser did. I want to show you this image though, because what Magic Editor is able to do with this, just it blows my mind and it's it's the best example that I've seen yet. Apologies to my wife for showing this because she's making a weird face in this photo and it's not the most flattering thing, but whatever. I'm going to tap on her and I'm just going to erase her. Again, Magic Eraser is kind of more like a context aware fill. This is a generative thing. It's actually going to fill it in. And you can, I think, pretty quickly see what I mean. I think that that one, they all look pretty good, actually. We'll just go with the first one. Notice how it put the bars in. The missing bars are replaced. But it's more than that, guys. Notice right here where her shoulder is. And now notice they actually put a reflection there, an accurate reflection somewhat, to that tree. But certainly accurate reflections to the rest of the tree line. That is what Magic Editor is able to do. This is next level stuff. It's absolutely unbelievable. 
And just to make up for showing such an unflattering photo of my wife, that's what she normally looks like. She's beautiful. I do want to do one more thing really quickly. If you guys have seen my coverage of Magic Editor and Generative Edit, you have seen me try to erase this entire car. And Samsung's version of this Generative Edit has a tendency to do some really strange things where it likes to produce a new made-up car. So far on Pixel devices like this Magic Editor actually just replaces it with pavement. We're going to do the test here as well and see, do we get pavement or do we get a made-up car? I'm expecting pavement because this is Magic Editor. should be exactly the same as on a Pixel device, and that is exactly what we get. So, Magic Editor on the OnePlus Open uh, does pass the car removal test. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description down below to another video where we do the, uh, the other thing with Samsung and it starts making up cars. It's actually very, very funny. Now, strangely enough, some of these other features that are meant to be coming, like Unblur, have not arrived on my OnePlus Open. So it's possible that you're going to get one thing but not the other. When are these things going to arrive on your device? It's hard to say. It's on my Open. It's not on my Pixel Fold. There's going to be some randomness involved with this. Now, speaking of the OnePlus Open, many of you may know that in some regions, their own AI-based eraser tool has actually rolled out. I would love to compare that to Magic Eraser, but that does not appear to be something that I have yet. I'm not sure if anybody in North America has got it. Maybe it's in other regions. Not exactly sure what's going on. I am back on the North American ROM again for my phone, so not sure where that is when it arrives. I'll do a comparison, but for now, Magic Editor is what I have, and luckily it works as well as it works on any other normal Pixel device. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know down below, have you gotten it on your device, and if so, what device is it? It'll help us all kind of track where this rollout is. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.